What's going on, folks? How's your evening going? It's not too bad outside. It's nice out, you know. It's a little chilly, but it's not it's not bad at all. I was taking a walk. You know, I had a little flashlight going. And I stopped. I'm up here at a certain point, and um, I was thinking. And you know, you know how I like to walk and think, and I was thinking. Because I figured it out. I figured it out. Finally. It came to me. Well, I, I already had known this, but it really set in me in a way that I understand it on a level now that I get it. And I don't think y'all get it, but I get this. And I'm going to say what it is. You know, the behavior of the people, because see, really this came about from some things that happened earlier today, you know, and I'll probably speak on those in a, on another time. But what I realized is that people, and I and I have done videos about this, about um, condoning this type of behavior and the way that people condone it and, and allow it to happen. And that could be anything. Because it's always that case. It's always a situation where someone is is doing something wrong or infringing on another person and then the people that they discuss this with can never understand or see it from a perspective of them being a victim or someone trying to make them a victim. The person always has to come up with some type of excuse for the opposing party, the person who's actually infringing. And so it comes down to your emotional IQ because that's very low, right? Your intellectual IQ is very low as well. So you're not able to think on an IQ intellect level about why it doesn't make any sense. And you're not even able to feel for the person who's being a victim, which is why you have low emotional intelligence. And too many of y'all have that. And that's my point I'm making about this. The point I'm making is that everyone seems to suffer from this. So I'm thinking that it's probably about the uh, uh, your your how you were raised. It's probably it probably uh, fits into that that uh, situation there. It's it's probably something that's come, that's stemming from how you were actually groomed and reared in your life. That's what it's coming down to, and the people, the very people who are doing that for you, they themselves are dysfunctionally disturbed because that's what y'all don't get that's why i'm talking to y'all i talk to y'all all of the time we speak on this every single day every single day i see the type of people that i know exist and there are more of them like i said than good people now it doesn't really matter if this video turns out as as good as it could turn out it doesn't really matter if I'm if I'm not getting my words and I'm not completely I would like to be I would like for you guys to have a full interpretation of my message. You know, and I'll get there. You know, right now I'm I'm you know I'm a little rusty and I'm 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 you know I'm trying to get myself together. You know, I had a good walk and I just really started thinking. Now I'm not gonna be out here long because you know I am out in nature. It is dark out here and you know a flashlight can only work so well in these conditions so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna make this really quick i'm gonna stand right here on this trail and i'm just gonna just finish this up and and, and get to that but you know this is two pronged this one because see sometimes i lecture you guys and sometimes i just scold and i let you know who you are and some people may interpret that as me being condescending however you yourselves live every day being condescending to other people. Do you get the point I'm making? See, somehow you're not able to connect. Like I said, going back to what I was just talking about in the beginning. Somehow y'all are not able to connect how you, you think and rationalize something to how you feel. You're just not able to connect those. And both of those components are distorted. And there's a lot of you. And there's every single one of you. Because even people who, who do not take a position, which I spoke on that in another video, because these are all weak character people. These are all people who are just who have have just the lowest traits possible. Right. 
You people. And that's how I'm going to refer to you from now on as you people. Because when I say you people, I'm talking about all of y'all people. Every single one of you. I'm not going to try to dress this up for you. I'm not going to try to say things that that you want to feel good about because see you you don't you don't dwell in good. So so why are you upset if I tell you how much of an a hole you are, a jackass? How, why why are you upset about that? Because you're a jackass every day to other people, and every day someone is taking aspirin at work. Or every day someone's going home to their loved ones or their spouses and they're telling them about your jackass ways when they had to deal with you on a job or when they had to deal with you in the store or when we, you were in a restaurant and you got the order wrong and you were just whatever you were. And when they tell that person, there's always someone somewhere willing to advocate for the wrong in other people because they themselves feel that their wrong is in them. And so they accept it. They're all on the same vibrational level and therefore they accept those terms. And it's important to talk to you people tonight because it really is. Because see, this is these, these things are important to you, but you don't have the intellect, like I said, to understand why. And you're the people who we always see in videos who, who meet their fate or things happen and stuff because you're not smart at all. You go about your lives in the wrong way. Because, see, it's not about judging you on a personal level where you as a soul and how you think. It's not really about that. It's about what you think that affects other people that becomes the problem. You're willing to harm other people. You're willing to rob, kill and steal. Now, I just uh, saw that story about the family in Florida who uh, lost the father to the young hoods who, who shot the guy and killed him for a dirt bike that they will never ride ever in their lives because now they don't have a life. Now, now for the better part of their life, they will be incarcerated. I'm not interested in talking about the social issues of that. I'm talk. I, I'm, you know. And first of all, let me say this: I want to applaud you, uh, Mr. Sotomayor. I want to applaud you for your efforts helping know that family, raising money for them. That you know, we need more people like this in the world. And I talk about uh, uh, when humanity uh, 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 shows itself the best of itself. I, I always have talked to you about that, and that these are the things that I wish for. Because I'm tired of you low-level people. So big ups to you, sir. You're one of the big dogs on here. So I'm just going to, you know, I just want to say that, you know, that was a great thing that you did. And more of you people. And you know what? I'm going to actually donate some money to this family, too. I'll, I'll send something, too. I'll look it up, and I'll just, I'll, I'll, I'll do that. And I encourage you people to do the same. Because you know what? Especially in Florida. Because these, these people are in your community and you need to want to help and you need to you need to care because this was senseless. That is the behavior I keep talking about when I tell y'all that these 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 low level motherfuckers that roam. If this world did not have filters because we have filters and look what happened. So in a world without filters, you will most certainly have to fuck that guy up. Because he's coming for you. And that's the point. This is not about violence. I don't think we should condone violence but what do you do when you live in a world full of low level dysfunctional idiots low intellectual low emotional intelligence all of the components that will make you have to karate kick a motherfucker in the face and break their goddamn nose any any of these things right when you see these movies it's always some sociopathic motherfucker that gets his motherfucking ass stomped in the floor because Chuck Norris is sitting there having a beer or some shit man in his business. And this dickhead comes up and then proceeds to get mopped, to have to be, mop, be the mop of the fucking floor. Because Chuck Norris mops his ass up on the floor. 
and this is what I and, and, and we all cheer because we we feel that feeling. We feel that good feeling when Chuck Norris stomps this motherfucking roach out. We feel that feeling. Right? Now, now the, the, the people like me, we're in a fucking roach nest. Surrounded by you motherfuckers. And bugs too, because it's a cat, dog it. Surrounded by you motherfuckers. I don't, I don't, um, you know, I'm, you know, I'm going to keep talking to you folks about this because I'm trying to reach certain people. I understand that the people with low IQ are not going to get this and I'm not, it's, it's not for you, but I'm telling you folks, you low IQ people, smart people think about how your low IQs affect their lives and they're protecting themselves. They're doing things to make sure that you don't harm their peace of mind or their loved ones. We're checking for you. And, and the people I'm talking to, I'm talking to those people. I'm talking to the people like me. Stand with me. Because I don't think y'all understood what I said when I said this. But every day you look at the news and you see tragedies and you sit in your living room and cry and talk about it with your other family members. You don't understand that one day you very well could be one of the people that you're looking at on TV. and You could be the victim that day. So your intelligence plays a key in how you survive. Now, you may not always get lucky, but for the most part, if you realize what's around you, you can take action and you can be prepared. And I should have been prepared because I don't have any off. You can be prepared. And you can do something to make sure that your loved ones and your children grow up in a peaceful place and environment so they can be better and they can they can prosper. Right now, I'm not about talking about social work right now. Right now, I'm not talking politics right now. Right now, I am talking to you low-level, dysfunctional, bottom-feeding mother freakers. That's who I'm talking to. And I could have said the other word, but see, that's what I mean about intelligence. I don't have to always say that. I can think about why I don't want to say it, and I don't really give a crap what you think about that. Or if you think that that's something bad or it's not cool because you are a low-seated individual. And most of you are functioning at a 78, a high 78, or, or me at 76 point level on your IQ or something. Most of you are like that. Now, I want you guys to go look up all of the levels of the IQ and then start at the very bottom level. And I want y'all to see what they classify that level as and what number that is. And then I want you to think about someone being a 75 or a 78 or something relative to a general 85 IQ, which is still the same thing to me as far as I'm concerned, because my IQ is much higher than that. But this is not about, a, about IQ points. The point I'm making to you is, is that you do have a low IQ. And you are stupid and you do criminal things and you do harm other people. So what are you? What are you? I don't care what you think you are. I know what you are. You're scum. And we need to put all of you folks in a fucking rocket ship. See, I wanted to say that. A fucking rocking ship and send your ass to fucking Mars or some other place out in the galaxy, goddammit, and just let you keep going. Rid, rid ourselves of your bullshit and your toxicity and all of the shit that you bring to the table, all of the bad things. So, yeah, you know, sometimes I want to lecture and sometimes I'm nice, but sometimes I'm not. Not like this. Not under these circumstances. Not when I see how many dumb people there are who have low fucking IQs and show it in many ways. Right? The things y'all agree with. You, you guys agree with things that are stupid. And then you rationalize because you have those low points. You can't fucking see how down the line. See, insight is part of your intelligence. You can't see down the fucking road. You can't see what's ahead because you create the doom that's coming down the road for yourselves. 
I don't give a shit. I'm not here to save you. I'm here to save me and people like me. You know what I mean? So you folks out there, I want you to understand something. If you're like me, join me. I love when you like my videos. I love, you know, I, I would like for you to share my videos, you know. And if you want to subscribe, that'd be great, too. You know, I'm this is this is see some, you know, hey, I want y'all to understand. I'm just I'm talking to y'all. I'm trying to see this is social media and I'm trying to talk to all of y'all. As many of you that you that can see what I'm saying, because you are low seated people. Any of you that are out here harming people and taking people from their families, you are a fucking low seated person. Now, I always come out here talking about how I love bad behavior. I don't love this shit, though. I don't love this type of shit. I don't. This is not a game. This is for this is about survival and self-preservation. And all of the smart people need to get together and we need to get rid of all of these stupid low level dysfunctional motherfuckers. That's what needs to happen. Now, I'm not going to stand out here all night and curse all night because I'm not going to do that. The point I want to make to you folks, really, honestly. Is that something needs to change. And, and you need to become aware. And that's all this is really about. Just making you understand that you need to become aware of how you're thinking in this stupid league. Okay? Y'all have a good night.